Morning you guys, it's Karen and this is a first for me. I'm doing a doggy haul, a doggy haul and review. And it was just because I ordered some things from Amazon. I bought some things at the pet shop because of the ongoing kind of food problems with Watson. And I ordered some things from another pet shop as well online. And I thought, you know what? I think this would be really useful because I found a couple of really good things and I wanted to share it with you guys because I really do think that some of these, some of these things might help some dogs out there. So that's kind of my purpose in doing it. So I've got food, grooming stuff, treats, poo bags, therapy stuff. I've got a bit of everything. So I don't really know where to start. I guess start with food. Now I'll start with these bowls. Actually, you know what? I'll start with telling you about throws because that's something else I ordered. And the reason for ordering it was because of Watson. And again, I think this will be useful to you guys because I have been looking for throws for so long. And in fact, the last time I met my friend for lunch, you probably remember, we both went throw shopping because she's getting a dog as well. But I've got a really big, a really long three-seater sofa. It's actually a four-seater sofa. And then I've got a love seat, which is huge, like in its dimensions, you know, it's very wide. It's as wide as it is long. Um, so I need very, very large throws. And they're either extortionate, like hundreds of pounds, or they're not machine wash and I want them to be machine wash because the whole point is to cover the sofa so Watson can sit on it so that I can throw them in the washing machine. Um, I want them to be not too kind of fluffy, not too fluffy because I wouldn't want Watson to be allergic to them. Anyway, there's all these things to consider and I want to like them of course. So we, I thought I found some on Amazon but when they arrived they actually weren't machine wash. They said they were on the website so I had to send those back and they also weren't the sizes that they'd said so they didn't fit on my sofa. But I finally found some throws and I'll try and stick in a picture either of the throws on the couch or just them on the Amazon site but I think it'd be nice if you could see them on the couch. Yesterday and they are green hound's tooth, green and cream hound's tooth and I thought oh god Kev's not going to like these. Um, but he does and I was delighted because I, was, I wasn't looking forward to you know sending them back and starting all over again and not knowing what to get. The only other thing is they feel kind of like wool, like they're quite open weave and I thought oh no Watson's gonna like snag them you know and then they'll be a right mess but actually they're, they're not bad at all. He's been doing this on the sofa and I looked at it and they've not, it's not moved it at all but also because they're so huge I don't know the exact measurements but I'll link it, I'll link the Amazon link so that you guys can go and check it out. Um, that I could t I could switch them round. So if one bit got ruined, I could turn it upside down and use the other side. I could probably move it along. You know what I mean? There's quite a lot of extra material. And I think the price was amazing for two of these huge throws. It cost me 50 pound, including shipping, um, including postage. So yeah, I thought that was really, really good because like I said, there's a lot of extortionate ones out there and I didn't really want to pay hundreds of pounds. I decided um, that we needed to upgrade Watson's food and water bowls because with the food, it did fit in the bowl, but it was kind of piling upwards because we still had his kind of small puppy bowls, if you like. Um, so we bought him a new food bowl. We just bought a couple of these, which are dishwasher safe. We got these from Pets at Home, and I think they were like six or seven pound each, something like that, and they are faring very well so far. And it's just the right size, this one, and you get them in different sizes, but just enough size that it looks like a decent meal, but it's not like flowing over the top. Um, so love that. But the second thing I got that I love, although it kind of annoyed me, is this. And it just says dog. I think there was different designs in there. You can get even bigger than this, but we wanted to get him a water bowl that could fit a lot of water in it, but that was hev too heavy for him to knock over. Now I'd imagine he'll give it a good try, but when his, particularly when his friend Dixie's here, he, for some reason he decides it's fun to knock over the water and he'll pull it into the middle of the hall and then tip it over. <laughs> I'm not sure why he thinks that's fun. Because he hates being wet so, you know, and it, it often results in him being soaked and the floors are soaked and I have to mop it all up. Anyway, so I wanted to get a heavy bowl and this is a little bit bigger than I intended but it means that you, you don't have to fill it up so much. And the weird thing is when I had a small bowl there used to be a lot more dust and, you know, I, I felt like I changed it probably three or four times a day. I've actually only changed this once a day since having it. Um, and I can see when there's dust in that and it just doesn't seem to get, the water doesn't seem to get as dirty somehow. I don't know why that is. Um, but anyway, I'm happy with that. Oh, the thing that annoyed me about it, and I meant to tell you, I bought this from Pets at Home and it was £9. I was dead chuffed with myself because it was over £30 and I remembered to use my voucher. I had a £3 off if you spend over £30 or maybe it was 5 over £50, something like that. 
do a chuff to myself. Then I went to Asda to do some shopping and they do one of these in Asda and it's a fiver. So if you're gonna get one of these, I would say get it from Asda. And I actually liked it better because it had little paws around the edge. Anyway, what can you do? Okay, treats. Um, I bought some of these. These are just a saviour to me. These are the Billy and, Mar Billy and Margot venison marrow bones for dogs. A lot of places sell these. They do, uh, they're often out of stock because I think they're so popular. Um, I can't remember the price of these. I think they're about three or four pounds a pack and you get, usually you get two bones in them, sometimes you get three. It's down on weight, it's 300 grams of weight. But these are great, they're totally natural um, and they keep him entertained for ages. That is what he's doing at the moment, he has one of these. Um, and I like check on him every now and then because you are supposed to supervise them when they're having bones. But we normally give them to him. If we want to have snacks, say at the weekend, we want to have a packet of crisps. If we open a packet of crisps, he's straight there with his, his little head on the sofa like, can I have some? But if we give him one of these bones, he'll go and sit in the window and just chew at that. And that's him got his little treat as well, you know. So it's good for keeping him occupied. It's good for when you want to have something that you know he'll want a bit of. And they're just brilliant. Um, I just put Billy and Margot venison bones into Google and buy them from different places. I think I've got them from Viovet. This time I got them from, I can't remember. I think I might have got them from Amazon actually. So anyway, I'll link them below for you if I can find them. And then also Billy and Margot from the same place I got them, I got these. These are the joint care treats for dogs. These are pure venison treats with glucosamine and it's 100% air dried wild British venison. And he just loves these. I mean, he loves anything venison anyway, to be honest. Typically, he's got expensive taste, but this is what they look like. So they're just little, it's a hard outer with a kind of, I suppose it's all crunchy, um, but he really, really loves these. And he's not really into, like I bought some biscuits as well, and he, he's not really into biscuits, more so than he was when he was younger. But anyway, he loves these, and I love the idea that I'm giving him a little bit of glucosamine in it. What does it say about, um, for medium dogs, the daily dosage is four pieces. And actually that's about what I give him. I use this for his game. So this morning I've got a box where I got my Sephora order and some um, parcel paper and I got four of these and I wrapped it tightly in the parcel paper and put it in the box, put some things on top of the box and then he can hunt through it and find these treats. The treats that we needed to buy was for, we give him a treat after I have cleaned his ears and pulled the hair out, after he's had his teeth cleaned, um, and things that we know he doesn't really like, it sort of makes it a bit more bearable for him, I feel like. And we give him one of these three things. And the first one that I'm talking about is probably the most healthy. But of course the healthy things are much more expensive. But this is pet munchies and these are duck breast fillets. He loves these things. I also keep one of these on the side of the bath and I tear off little bits and give it to him um, while I'm in the bath because he used to try and jump in the bath and um, where actually now I'm having a bath with the door closed it's all changed but um he loves these and you when I say tear off it's very difficult to break them these are really chewy things but it won't keep them occupied for hours um or even half an hour but they they're lovely and they're nice and natural and they're good to give as that kind of treat the next two things are also the same category that's what we use these for like a treat after he's had He's bit, like if he's been in the bath, he absolutely hates getting bathed. And so I always give him something nice afterwards when he's sulking because he's wet. Um, and I like these two things, but I have to say these are not, these haven't got the best ingredients in them. If you are concerned about ingredients, these are not the best, but these, this keeps him occupied for probably about 10 minutes. So again, I used to give him one of these when I was in the bath. They are smart sticks, the healthy alternative to rawhide. Um, and these ones are made with peanut butter and he just loves these. But these were a great price because these are about, I think these ones were nine pound for how many's in here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, something like that. So they are pretty expensive. These are from Asda and we always make sure we've got these in there. Meaty, meaty treaty for dogs. But this one is 50 for seven, 57% real duck and it's again it's not an alternative to rawhide because I think it is rawhide. I can't actually say on it but these are it's just like I don't know if you can see in fact will I open it because I think we're down to his last one um in the cupboard anyway but these are one pound sixty for the packet and so if you're looking for something less expensive for the money you pay for these they're pretty good and that's what they look like. And this will keep him occupied for quite some time as well. And um, they're not suitable for under four months, but you can see it's got the duck wrapped around it. This, I'm assuming this is rawhide. I'm not sure because can you actually eat rawhide? Because he does eat the whole thing, you know, although it takes him a while, but that's something else that you could maybe buy 
as a kind of keep them occupied for half an hour. I'm really tempted to go and check on him because he's quiet, but at the same time, if I get up and go and check on him, sometimes that wakes him up, you know? Um, so I've got some grooming things here and some therapy things and just one toy thing to talk about. These, I got these on Amazon. Um, they are a pound for one ball. I think it was for one ball or was it a pound for two? Anyway, inexpensive, they squeak. And he loves these squeaky balls, but I wanted to make sure I had loads of these because I went to the park and I take these with me to try and get his attention for recall. And a lot of other dogs steal, steal them. You know the way that it works. If you put a dog down and another dog gets it. Um, well, that's happened twice and they've burst it. So I wanted to make sure I had a few on me so that I wasn't, you know, fussing over getting the ball back. Because um, a lot of people are quite sort of, like he took somebody's ball yesterday and they were quite determined to get this ball back even though you could see it was a raggedy old tennis ball. I suspect because some dogs are very fond of their balls, you know, but I wanted to be in a position where I don't have to worry about that. And um, so I bought these and he absolutely loves them. I, I unwrapped them yesterday and squeaked it through it and that was it. He was playing with this for quite a while on his own, which is unusual for him. That's the only toy. Let me talk about a couple of therapy things and then grooming things. I've got some really good grooming things here. And just randomly, let me show you these as well in case you are looking for some cheap poo bags. These are the poo bags we use and these were recommended by my friend's husband who is a dog walker and they're called doggy dirt bags i think i got them from amazon again i'll look and find out but these are the least expensive bags we found pets at home ones are crazy expensive but they've got tie handles which is what my husband likes they're thick you know they're not flimsy because a lot of bags you think they're great quality or great value and then you get them and they're very very thin and flimsy and so we've got a big box of these and yeah I would definitely order those again um so therapy things I wanted to tell everybody about these happy hoodies again I think I got it from Amazon if not I, I'll definitely find out where I got these things from but this is what it looks like this one is the small to medium you get you get them in a duo pack so you get small to medium and medium to large so I've given my friend the medium to large because I think they're really good and basically the idea is you put it over their head I mean they look blooming hilarious when you put it on them over their ears and it, and it sort of hugs it tight and you can use these on bonfire night and that's why I thought about doing this video as well because I thought some people could buy this and use it on bonfire night and it would maybe help the dogs not be so scared I wasn't 100% sure whether it would work or not I think groomers use them some groomers use them because with the hair dryer they said that that is a noise that a lot of dogs don't like. And I watched a video on it and I saw this lab being blow dried and he was panicking, etc. And then they put the happy hoodie on him and he just sat there and he was absolutely fine. So I thought I'd try that out with Watson because actually he doesn't seem too bothered by fireworks. We've had fireworks around here um, and he's not been bothered by them at all. One night he was bothered, but we're not sure if it was the fireworks or not because they actually sounded further away on the night he was bothered. Um, but if he is, I will put this on him. But I put this on him when I was blow drying him. I don't now blow dry him actually. I just put his, I need to show you the robe thing as well. But we put a robe on him that I'll go and get and show you in a moment um, and don't blow dry him. But when we did blow dry him, he absolutely detested it. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put this on him. So I put this on and it was like night and day. It really did make a difference. And it's obviously because the sound of the, of the hair dryer just bothers him. So happy hoodie and I will link it for you. And if you want to or are able to spend more money than that, a thunder shirt is, this, is a similar idea. This is really just to stop them hearing. Whereas this thunder shirt is a kind of pressure thing and you wrap it around them and it goes across the whole of their body. Um, I haven't found this to be great, but I don't think he's in dire enough need, if you know what I mean. So I use this for separation anxiety and yeah, it doesn't really do much. Saying that, I was going to say I might try it today, but I won't be able to because it's actually the walkers dropping him off and I've got an appointment. But um, the Thunder Shirt is something to consider if you have any kind of anxiety problems with your pup. This is just, I should have maybe done a different video as opposed to a haul and review because I think there's too much here. But there's so many things I want to tell people and recommend in case you're having the same issues as me. And these next two things I've not even just bought. I've had them for a while. But this is his dog robe. Um, I got it personalised, you don't have to get it personalised, you can get the name on the side and it's just dogrobes.co.uk and I'm sure there's something similar in the USA but this is amazing, when I first heard about it was my neighbour got one for her dog and she said oh wait till I show you Dixie's dog robe and I thought really when are they going to wear a robe? That's all I was thinking about you know but actually what it is is it's a special type of microfibre, I guess it doesn't feel like microfibre, it's more toweling than that but it's quite thin and the idea is that when they are wet whether that's coming in from a walk where they've jumped in the water or whether you've given them a bath or whatever you put this on and it soaks up a lot of the water 
Um, so all you do is this is the hole for their head and you put it over them like that. So it's just like a kind of coat and then you tie that into a bow on the top of them. I can't tell you how amazing this thing is and I know it's not just me because on the forum, we're on a forum for um, doodles, our Facebook forum and people are always talking about these and always recommending them because I put this on him and it doesn't cover his legs and it doesn't cover his face and so it doesn't restrict him too much but he lies down and goes to sleep and when he wakes up I take this off and all the bit underneath this is dry so his underneath and his top is dry, it's just his legs that are still wet so it definitely, definitely works, I would recommend that 100%. And when I picked that up, I just wanted to show you this cool mat because if you've got a dog like mine who is dark haired and long haired, you'll know that they get very, very hot and there isn't much you can do about it. I spray him with water. He has got a cool coat, um, but this in the house is just invaluable. It's just a cool mat, which I will link down below. And at first he wasn't really sure what to do with it. You know, he didn't go to it, even though I put him on it a couple of times. But it obviously just took him a while to learn exactly what it was. And now, any time he's hot, he will go and lie on this. Just the pressure on it, you, I can feel it now, it's cool. And it's just, you know when it's really hot and you get into cold sheets? I imagine it's that feeling and he loves this now. And I love the idea that he's got somewhere to go that will cool him down. Finally, onto grooming stuff. And I'm going to have to title this as a long video, aren't I? I've got four things to tell you about here. Um, the first two things are, this is the Wal detangler conditions hair as it detangles oh i'm only i'm down to there with this and i love this stuff i absolutely love it the problem i have with it is that i can't get it onto watson because he detests the smell and it's not the spray because i spray water on him and he's absolutely fine but this is scented i wish they would come out with unscented ones for animals I, it really bothers me like they know that dogs have got extra sensitive noses but they seem to put perfume in it for some reason um anyway i'm just seeing what it says on here because it allow to soak in for a few minutes and lightly comb out because I've used this in, in several different ways and I wondered if it said to use on like after you've bathed them but it doesn't but I have used it that way I sprayed it on him while he's still in the bath just to help once he's dry for me to comb through because we like to keep his fur fairly long and it's hard to comb through and even if we don't even when he gets groomed regularly it's hard to comb through his coat and so it's a great way of conditioning it and detangling it that's the key thing but I've also used this when I've been cut trying to comb through him and I can't get through a mat, I would spray a bit of this on and it helps to comb through. It's really, really good stuff. So love that, but he doesn't love it. So I'm, I've not actually used it that much lately. Mostly when I've used this, there'll be a lot on my carpet <laughs> because it's more like a game because I'll run after him and spray it and he runs away because he doesn't like it. Um, but I always think, well, I know he doesn't like it and it might bother him for a minute, but it will make it easier when I'm combing him and he doesn't like that either, you know? And the same kind of idea is this. Now, this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Defrizz. Um, and it's a serum. Now this started off when I was talking to my Lancome lady in Boots where I go and she looks after or has in the family Lasso Apsus and she was, or Apso, I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. Um, and she was saying, oh, you need to get John Frieda frizzies because I was talking about how difficult it was to comb through Watson. She says, you need to get John Frieda frizzies and use that on him. So I bought, I didn't buy the John Frieda one, um, but I bought another serum and I've got plenty of serums myself, as you guys will know if you watch my beauty channel um, hair collection videos. So anyway, I tried all of those serums and they were brilliant in that you rub your hands, rub them over his fur, whether it's dry or you can use it when it's wet as well. And it would just make his fur really, really soft within about an hour. Once it's sort of soaked in, it would make it really, really soft and so much easier to comb. But again, he detested the smell. And I was like, how can he tell I'm coming with this? Because I could literally be in the bathroom and do that and there's barely any sound. And the minute I came out of the bathroom, he'd be running away and he knew exactly what I was gonna do. And I thought, well, it's obviously the perfume that's bothering him. So let me see if there's a, an unperfumed one. And I can't find an unperfumed one for pets. If anybody knows of one, please let me know. This though is unperfumed and this is the Bumble and Bumble one. And in fact, I let him smell it. There is no scent at all. I, you know, I put it for him to smell before I use it. And he's like, okay, that's fine. There's no smell. And he just sits there and lets me use it. But everything else, he would run away, he would wriggle away, he absolutely hated it. So Bumble and Bumble Defrizz, it's up to about there I've used. You only need to use a tiny bit, it is expensive, it's about 20 pounds, but I think this is perfect. I haven't used it on my own hair actually, because I've got plenty of serums and I like the perfume smell, you know. Um, but it really, really helps. And like I said, it makes his coat soft, it makes it easier to comb through, really good stuff. 
I also don't want to use perfume on him because of course he's got all these skin allergies and whatnot, you know, um, like he's allergic to dust mites and grass and yeast, so I don't want to put any extra perfume on him. There's two things to go. One is groomer's ear powder. And I thought, you know what, people probably know about this, but just in case you don't, it's something that makes it easier for the dog. If you have got, I think it's only dogs with long ears, you can correct me if I'm wrong, because I've only got experience of Watson and he is a Labradoodle, for those of you that don't know, but he looks more like a Spaniel actually, but he's got long floppy ears and with those you have to take the ear hair out regularly, otherwise they can get ear infections, but you have to not, do, not overdo it because then, you know, the hairs are there for a reason to catch the dirt, it's that kind of situation. But pulling the hairs out, you have to get them from right down in the ear canal um, and using ear powder makes it so much better. So you basically just pop a bit of, it's like towel, pop a bit in their ear, you sort of rub their ear, wait a few minutes and then you can grip the hair and pull it out. It doesn't seem as painful for them. It's easier to grip and it doesn't seem to hurt them as much. So I think that's perfect. And again, that was an Amazon purchase for me. The final thing, I just think if you haven't heard of this, you'll love it. If you want to groom your dog at home and like me, you have no clue how to do it. And like me, you have a dog that doesn't want you to do it. <laughs> um, I've still not figured out how I'm trying to cut his muzzle, but it's like a weekly, week long thing where I do a little bit each day because he just, I just about get him in position and he moves and I'm so scared I'm gonna hurt him, you know. But also he just doesn't want it done. I'm trying to do his ears and the way you do their ears is you lift up their ear and you're supposed to do their muzzle like this to match up with their ears. I don't know how the groomers get them to sit still for that. Anyway, I found these on Amazon and they're called Scaredy Cut and they are brilliant. And the idea is that it's a way of grooming dogs that don't like, what do you call those things? Clippers. Now I've got clippers, but I just can't get the hang of clippers. And my husband has scared me as well because I said to him, I can try and groom him. And what I was gonna do was book a groomer's appointment, groom him like a few days or a week before to see if I could do it okay. And then if he looked ridiculous, we could take him to the groomers and they could sort it out. But the groomers is just so expensive for us. It's 50 pounds. If we're having him done every month, it's 50 pounds. Or even every six weeks, it's 50 pounds every six weeks. So I wanted to be able to do it at, at home because I don't think there's any need for him to go that often. If I can trim him, then great. But these are just blooming excellent. So you get, I think there's another four up there, you get six, seven of these add-ons. So as with a clipper, you can use different numbers. So, and it tells you how many millimeters each one of these is. It just clips on, so that's the scissors. And then you just clip this on and it's really easy, uh, do you know I'm gonna say that and then it's not gonna go on is it because I'm on camera and fidgety, no, there you go. And so all you do, and like I said, I have used this and I've used it with success, is you just comb it and then clip it. And he just sat there looking out the window while I did this, which is a blooming miracle. And it's obviously, it's even better than normal scissors, I don't really get how, but maybe because of the combing action or something, but it just means you can trim them without causing them any discomfort and without fear of messing them up. I started off using this one, number six, the biggest one, so that I really just trimmed the edges. And it, oh, it just looks so much neater. When I was cutting it, it was really blunt and it was just looking, you know, I tried like a little bit on his tail and you could see these cut marks. Whereas with this, it's not because you're lifting it up and cutting it, just brilliant. Really, really brilliant. And again, Amazon, and I'll list them for you. That was useful to you. If you found any of this useful or interesting, please do let me know because that's just, just makes my day really. Um, and if you've got any questions, of course, let me know and I will answer them the best I can. Uh, and that's everything. Thank you again and I'll speak to you again soon.